What's up guys, this is the Rofan and I am back to bring you the next episode of my Let's Play Empire Total War as Denmark. So the runoff happened last time, the big win was actually knocking out the Swedish Navy and then freeing up our port back open to trade and we're earning nine grand a turn if we do that. So at full tilt it's nine grand, that's what we get. Um, I moved my army across which is a bit of a silly move because now this navy could sail around. Well actually our navy's... our navy would probably beat that one. So it's tempting to actually just... Oh no, most of our ships are pretty knackered. Let's end turn and see... See what happens. Good! Because now we can just engage their army as we would a normal army. And it's nice to know that the navies they're sending over to attack us, we can actually beat. Because it would be lovely if we could capture... Capture their fifths. Because right now I, I did save a lot of the brigs. And it's not that I want the brigs, it's just that I can just sell them to my ports and garrison them, or to prevent them from being uh, blockaded. And then I'll always have one, because I've now I've just got either neutral or allies um, in the Baltic. It's tempting just to sail one to the coast. Well, I don't need to. I was thinking about sailing one to the coast of Riga, uh, however... I've got my rake on the way, and he's just going to live there. So I'll always have a good vis visibility on what's what the right time to attack is. Gentlemen has been recruited in Sweden. Good, go to Uppsala. You assassinate that Swedish. Oh! So who's down here? Lots of Irish volunteer infantry, got some Highlanders and some cavalry. Bring my marines over. Then probably recruit two units of guns. Better guns than what we've got. And let's get the rest in repairing the rest of my navy. Could probably sail these guys around and try and kill them. Because to be honest, lots of their armies are just fifths, they're not very good. Let's keep this up, let's keep um, my fishing port churning out good ships. So let's take my Admiral. This sloop can go garrison on Malmo. You guys, and you're not damaged. Let's take you, 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 and you. You've got the right amount of. Is that? I'm not sure that's guns or firepower or what that is, but you've got the right amount, but you're still a bit damaged, so you're going to stay here. We are going to sail this. Oh no, no, no! Stay, stay! Damn it! I forgot to bring, I forgot to bring my admiral. <laughs> oh. oh well, too late. Let us go. So we've lost a fifth, but we've got, they've got one fifth, a sixth, a couple of privateers, and just not not a lot of good stuff. Okay, so bring fifth, sixth group. Oh, we have the weather gauge. Good stuff. The privateers I would take because they would be quite themey um, trade ships when I start to get the trade fleet going. Insurgent. Funny word to have for your ship. So let's let's get them. Maybe, maybe just get a bit slightly closer to them. Temeraire is going to get absolutely shot. The got going to get the crap shelled out of her. Which these these privateers have got they've got some firepower, but not a huge amount. Like ship for ship, we've just got the better ships. Okay. 
to be honest, if anything, the, where I want to chop them is chop them through the middle of the fleet here. Because then this sixth rate will just be annoying on the far side of the, the formation. But the port side guns have no one to shoot at, so... Okay, now go. Probably going to go for chain shot. Because that will shred the sixth rate sails, because she's at full sail. And also, Sabine. Okay, she's gone. She's put down the sails. We've got some good hits on the masts, but no final. You're probably going to go chain shot as well before you get into range of Sabine. Unfortunately, she's not at full sail anymore, but maybe you might be able to get it masked. Nope. Birnholm, stay firing. Stay firing round shot. And then let's. So you've started firing preemptively, but I want you to fire a limited broadside into the stern of Sabine. If we can make it. Love to get one more shot at trying to destroy the masts. Too late, firing at the wrong ship. Oop, that one almost hit the camera. Oop, still fairly unlucky when it comes to the mast hits. Around is probably going to get a bit of a hammering. Let's bump up the speed a little bit. Insurgents taking a bit of a hammering as well. Oh, let's get you guys to fire chain shots because you'll get some good shots into the privateer. Some good shots into the fifth ray to help slow her down somewhat. Okay, let's go full round shot. Curve you back around. Surgeon's going to make way for my sixth ray. Fortunately, she's got no guns to fire, but I might be able to dismast the privateer somewhat. Speed up time. Let's try and do something like this. Even faster speed. So let's try. Moving into the wind, but try to move into the wind so that we can scoot out of it a little bit. Well, it looks like they're probably going to do something like this. So how much damage have we done? Not a whole lot. It's most... No, oh, no. I can't remember if it's which side's morale and which side's damage. I'm pretty sure it must be left is must be morale and right must be ship damage based on... These two ships are both confident, but they've got some concern for damage. God, could you imagine if there was a ship here? <laughs> I 
think we might do something like this. Which would be funky. Then we have to go back to firing just good old round shot. <laughs> so Trinke Bars It's got mild damage, but she is the target of all of their shots now, so you're gonna be a feel a bit alone for us for a moment. Before Dr. Julianne Marie can get into the fight. Okay, let's get you to do chain shot again. So it really helps if you can if you can take their biggest chip and just slow them right down. It really helps. Just stop. Stop trying to bar. Give them another chance to get more shots. Okay, now sail. Always going to get a hammer in the rear. Mantle the group. Okay, we're going to lay alongside. Hopefully, fire a full broadside into the side of this fifth ray. Yep, take the damage. Fifth is actually routing. They're probably going to come back. No routing as well. Oh no, you can see. Oh, I was about to say, see, he came back. They're good, we've made their fifth route. That's the that's the big concern. Just routing for now. Sorry, other Danish ship. Friendly fire time. Surrendered. Good. So let's get another, get another shot to the privateer. Yep, shaken. I can understand that. Let's send my 6th rate in to try to do some damage with a uh, chain shot cannons. Come on, sail my, sail my brig into point blank range and try to blast them with a swift broadside. Oh, that's chain shot. 
dang it. Break surrendered. Go on, knock a sail off the brig. Fire a chain shot. Try to see if we can knock down a mast. To be honest, if you shoot and change our brig seems a bit pointless. Pretty knackered. Yeah, one of their ships is routing. You try collar that ship. You try color that ship. You guys focus on hitting the sixth rate. Bang! Good. Gone. Surrendered. Surrendered, surrendered, surrendered. Whew. Seems a bit touch and go at some points, even though I had a better navy. Yeah, that was close. I'm just going to show Mingli in my favour. So. Don't want the sixth. I'll take the fifth. I, actually, I, th I think I might be against trying to recruit all of these. So I'll just add the fifth. Send the rest to my money pool. Bring them back to port. It'll also help fund repairs. Good. There's no Callum Grangers on the march. So I can move him ready to intercept. I've got 2,000. Great, the last iron mine. It's a lovely, lovely suggestion. Cool. Let's hit NT. Yep, so Sweden recalled their army. Good God. Don't worry, Britain. We're coming after you. We are gonna have you. Especially if the objective is to... Well, they don't really have an objective. They're pouring in good armies, like land armies against me, but they're not actually achieving anything. I'm destroying them. I mean... Oh. Good. So I think that should mean I can get a decent... I should be able to get my Finland garrison over there safely. And... potentially knock Sweden out of the war. You guys are interdicting ships, but not my ships. Okay, let's disperse some of these brigs. 
Garrison Bergen. Garrison Visby. Rock Poe Visby. Actually, that's it. Let's get my fourth rate up to here. And we've got a sixth rate, which is not. Send them back to Umia. It's not a bad little navy. You've still got some fourth rates being recruited. To be honest, I might actually use use the brig to transport the grenadiers. Come on. Let's take. Maybe without the militia. Because they'll get a, a reasonable garrison bonus, actually. And they do have walls. Hmm. Let's leave the militia for leave the militia here for now. Maybe Let's recruit another unit of twelve pounders and give them two marines as well. Let's make them a bit more of a, a bit more of an army that can actually do some damage. Frederick Castle has made up my twelve pounders here. Starting to recruit another army under Linz Lindsay Willby. Oh, and there's another iron mine I can upgrade. Let's replenish these pikes after all this time. Okay, I'm pretty sure there's no no one's got dirt roads. Good. Okay, let's go move Frederick Carlson ready to go attack the Swedes. And maybe even in Copenhagen, because I've got this money to start actually building up an army. Ooh, heavy cavalry, that's pretty good. Build up an army to start to attack, or to get ready to attack uh, Britain. I think I'm going to recruit some general line infantry so I can pull some of these militia units out. Because right now this isn't a bad army. This is probably going to be it. It's just going to be through selective recruitment we're going to elevate it from a starter army to a you know, better army. Okay, cool. Lots of trade. Lots of people quite like us. Ministers are pretty good. Some of them might, some of the other guys might be better, but you know, our treasury is great. Okay, let's end the turn. So, let's see how the AI reacts. There's nothing else to. Ooh, has Russia. Has Croatia. I think they might have done. Good. Or maybe not. Yep, this time the black screens are definitely life cam, which is super, which is effectively just a mic, just an app for a webcam, which I've got on my computer, but it's just causing me so much aggro, I might just get rid of it. May as well go for the pleasure gardens. So just recruit some line, recruit unit for SARS and heavy cav. Fourth race still on the go. Yeah, it's a pretty poor navy, really. And we've just sailed out and attacked the Royal Navy here. Oh, hold on, I might be off to sneeze. Good.
I got to my, got to my microphone before I could sneeze. Cool. So let's bring Frederick Carlson to attack this garrison that's attacking my port. Swine. Come up and. We're going to successfully defeat this army. We'll swap out some of the militia and some of the garrison troops for uh, some heavy infantry. And lend that. I think it's a bit of a funky deployment zone. So here's probably a reasonable position for my artillery, or some of it. To be honest, let's make let's make the British squirm. We've got fire by rank and so much artillery. Just knock them back a little bit. You need marines covering the flank, directly covering the flank, and then let's get some, let's get some conscripts out. Good. Then on the other flank. Let's see, why is it the one bit of wall I actually want to use? I cannot use it. Okay, so let's select all of them. Cavalry, cavalry, general. Yes, Britain. So the yeomanry on the flank. Oh yes, advance the yeomanry up. They'll just get shot to bits. So the main job is to withstand these initial cavalry attacks. Hopefully the yeomanry will also get shot to pieces by conscripts. Moving them, moving in. These guys, these dragoons may make it on the charge. Nope, they are also wavering. Shimmery is shaken. Immediately run this flank up to engage them in the crossfire. All oh, the Highlanders are attacking the guns. Cavalry's come back, so advance up my conscripts, but not too crazy. Let's hit the Irish volunteers and see what they look like. They look pretty good. But fire by rank is starting to, to tell. Well, why aren't they attacking me? Charge me then. Oh, poor souls. Plenty more that came from as well. Oh. So they're just going to stop. Oh. Really? You're armed with loads of you got armed with loads of guys with axes and you just still still decide no 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 let us use let us use our pistols to solve this. Cavalry charging in, only 33 yeomanry. No, don't attack, move up and around. Blast that square with a bit canister shot. Some more Irish volunteer infantry. 
Now on the 26th with, with, with uh, my artillery. Let's advance, this, let's advance this line infantry up on top of the ridge, not down below it. Too bad. Too bad they got lots of we've got cavalry stakes protecting their rear. So let's get my cavalry to run around to the back. So the line infantry is retreating. They formed column like the French. <laughs> Except they're going to not attack. Provincial, provincial cabin on, in, into the mix. Let's advance up. So the general's been killed. Let's get the artillery back to firing round shot, and that way we can still fairly safely advance up our. Infantry. Ooh. Just charge in at this point. Continue. Okay, now chase after that line infantry, get my general to run out here on the flank. Now yeah, my other cavalry is out here, good. Let's bring him over. To be honest, let's just speed up time. I don't want my cavalry to start killing loads of my own men. Oh, I thought that was a... Nope, it was just light infantry. Good, so everyone's engaged. You're going to eviscerate that light infantry unit. Good for the Irish volunteers. The general's after... Go after the Highlander Warband, now I'll go after the Demi Cannons. You go after the Highlander Foot. Maybe go back after them. So let's go in a straight line. Six guys, but that was enough. Follow the foot infantry that's trying to route. Lots of these guys are probably going to escape. But we can only do what we can. Chase them down. Nope, oh, there's the end of the game. Oh well. At least the army got utterly trounced with a decisive victory. Wait, because they're in a port. I think they are. Oh, no, they do retreat. They do retreat. Retreat. Just want to resolve that. Chomp. Good stuff. Fred Frederick Carlson soon becoming top tier general. Mentioned in dispatches, confident general, corporate, and gold braid, and strong defender. All our mines have been built. Government chambers has been built. We've got a strong navy. Okay, soon you've got more stuff. To be honest, they can only really march once this army clears away. 
Sweden, yeah, Sweden and Denmark. Cool. So, want to send any more armies after me? Because I've got a feeling it's not going to work. Because now we've got a, we've got an economy that can support a large army to constantly destroy every army that comes after us. I'm got a navy to punish every weak navy they send after us. So things are going well. Although Prussia is vulnerable. So and support them. I'm allied with Russia. Good. Russia's actually on the move. If they take if they take them out, then I'm I'm cool with that. I don't I don't necessarily want the territory. It's just to get rid of them. Although I may bring I may take that army, that small army, to go and recapture Iceland for a very um sure. Because Iceland's not worth a huge amount, but you know, why not? Why not? It was our, it's our territory. Who knows, maybe in, you know, 280 years it might become... ...that has not yet been developed. Select the type of port to construct here. A fishing port will help your population grow. A trade port will provide an income from overseas oh, trade. Oh yes, because you've got the next economy tech. Good. Commercial port. Repair the trading port and let's replenish this army. More. Good. So let's combine. Combine. Yeah, we did lose some experience out of that. To be honest, just combine. Good. Because right now I'm looking, I've got some good new troops. So the second regiment of, of militia can be disbanded. Let's bring you back to here. So I'm not going to dis I'm not going to dismantle or get rid of my cavalry. So I might just do a bit of a straight swap. Let's bring in some hussars in. Let's bring some heavy cavalry in. Probably get rid of. Not get rid of, but let's. I mean, these are fresh troops. Let's see if, we, if there's any any super duper units we can keep high. Okay, let's pull you back. Drop in a fresh army, fresh unit. Pull out a unit of conscripts. Drop in a fresh unit. To be honest, drop out the pikes now. Place it with this. Good. Because now this army... It's pretty ready. It's pretty solid to go and start to invade England. And to be honest, it looks like Russia's going to go and attack Riga. In which case, then this guy... Let's take this sloop out. Bring this sloop over to Malmo. You occupy Visby. Let's disembark you. Let's get you off of the off of the ships. Let's take these new armies, new troops, and bring you back. Well, let's take the recruitments from Stockholm and bring you to Nelson's army. <laughs> let's upgrade this trade port. Good. Plus one management to navy. Is that my navy guy? It is my navy guy. With a well-connected mistress. Intellectual advance. So that was... I can't remember which one that was. Social contract. No, division of labour, wasn't it? Okay. Let's go for... Uh, Improved animal husbandry. Let's start to get a bit of these economic texts researched. Another mine in Sweden. Sweden's making me bear dollar, and even though I've got universities, they're still fairly happy. 
this is going to be a happiness building. Um, not sure about. See, so Lulia, which is up here, or Lulia, however you pronounce it, is up here. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this. Are there any more villages that grow after this? I don't think so. I don't think so. But to be honest, I've got lots of infantry industry, got a bunch of mines, logging camps. I can afford to make this guy a happiness building just in case. So the university doesn't cause too much trouble. Oh, another navy naval ship. Oh no wait. You're here now, aren't you? So you go over with my main fleet. Good. Royal Navy beware. Peter Hobber, complete, com, com, complete, 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 complete. Good stuff, I imagine. Um, okay, let's hit enter. Here comes the oh. United Provinces. Keep rebelling, but they're not going to stop the the garrison from they're not going to be able to stop the garrison from putting them down in a violently brutal way. Prussia's got another full stack near their hometown, so they're not completely out of it. At least they've got guaranteed trade from us, because I'll show any time soon. <gasps> Russia's embarked an army. If Russia declares on me, that's going to be quite a kick in the knackers. But I wouldn't be completely surprised, because I'm effectively new Sweden. Oh no. Good. Do that. I'm fine with that. This is the reason why I need a good navy. So I can shut down the Russian Baltic fleet when they eventually, or if they, if slash when they eventually decide to attack me. Because it's not out of, it's not completely impossible that the cheeky little scamps think they've got an opportunity and go for it. Colander on the go. Oh sure. Are they combining their fleets? Nope, they're just blockading the Spanish, I suspect. Pirates being sneaky. Good naval shore facilities. So now you go on to Socket bayonet. Socket bayonet, so I may as well. It's a standard military tech. Recruit sloop to block to garrison this port. You've not got much recruiting left to do. Let's keep an eye on the Austrians. Break, get you back on the ships. And I can get there in one hop, skip, and a jump. So I'm only sacrificing a sloop, a brig, if the Royal Navy chases after us. Oh, God alive! Oh, it's just loads of conscripts. Um, hmm. Just a bunch of conscripts. And a good general to boot. Let's do this and see how many of them fancy chasing after us. Well, that was a bit weird. I should probably have got them over to the fishery. So I can at least get them to safety. Sorry, Nelson. I might have sent you on a one-way trip. Okay, let's go to upgrade this port. And maybe get Finland to... Let's 
recruit a handful of conscripts to go occupy this star fort just in case Russia tries or thinks about doing something. No sense of shame. A successful mission here. Cool, let's hit end turn. Here comes another na British British invasion force, but I might just send my main fleet to go blockade the port. Ooh, and they have sallied out to attack us. But, looking at the timer, I think it's the end of this part. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time for the questionable defence of Sweden. Denmark, sorry. Well, the defence of a Denmark army in Iceland, which has probably been quite poorly thought out. I either... Well, yeah, it's probably a bad idea, but you know what? Why not? Let's try these things out. Radio. Cheers, guys. Yeah.